Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the new Segway Says podcast. I'm your host, Seth Campbell. And I'm trying to do a new intro because, you know, I've been saying the same thing every week, and I figured I'd mix it up a bit, but it still needs work. Anyway, this week we're going to venture into some new territory I don't believe we've done before, and that's some really serious blues. The first of the two songs is by a contemporary artist who uses a lot of blues in her own music, and the second is by one of the all-time greats. The two songs are Papa Come Quick, also known as Jody and Chico, by Bonnie Raitt, from her Luck of the Draw album. And the second is called 29 Ways, by one of the great legends, Willie Dixon. And it's also been recently brought back into popularity by Mark Cohn, when he covered it on his first record. Now both of these songs are, as I said, they're, they're, they both make a lot of use of the blues scale. So you're going to use, you know, the flat seven, and it's in major. So you're also going to you're going to make use of the flat third. And there's technicalities of the blues scale, but for those of you less musically inclined, I won't bore you with the details. Now there's a, a caveat here, in that I've changed the key of both of these, um, to to a certain degree, and the uh, the Bonnie Raitt song is originally. Somewhere between E flat and E, there's a couple songs on that record that feel like they're in between keys, and I wonder if maybe they're changing the speed or the pressing of the speed. I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I brought it down to D uh, just for my vocal range, but also to make this segue work because the Mark Cohn song, though he covered it um, in E flat on his album, when he plays it live, he does it in D with a much more piano heavy thing uh, and a swing time feel and that's what's going to make this segue work. Now Papa Come Quick um, received a fair amount of radio play in its time. It's a really fun song. It's, it, it's a funny tale of a family uh, reacting to the news that their uh, daughter slash sister, you, you know, the, the, the young woman of the family has uh, one day just decided to run off with her kind of creepy ne'er do well boyfriend, so, and it's their over the top reaction of how they're going to deal with that. And it's a really fun song, and it has this great riff, with slide guitar that I believe is Bonnie herself playing. She didn't write this song, incidentally, but she did record it and make it very popular. So it's all kind of based around this riff. <laughs> It's a pity. What are we gonna do now that Jody's gone? And so, as you can hear, it's not the one four one five four one standard, if you will, cookie sheet uh, blues progression, but it's still very definitively. A blues feel, and if you listen to the song in particular, the guitar parts, you'll definitely, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Um, and 29 Ways, at least, again, this is based off of the way Mark Cohn tends to do it live, and it's much more true to the original Willie Dixon, um, goes something like this, and this is the standard blues progression. I got 29 ways to make it to my baby's door. Got 29 ways to make it to my baby's door. If she needs me bad, I can find about two or three more. I gotta wait through the basement to down the hall. Going gets tough, I got a hole in the wall. Got a 29 ways to make it to my baby's door. Two or three more. Like I said, there's more of a swing time feel to this version, whereas Mark's studio version is straight time, it's more sparsely arranged, etc. But as you can hear, these are both same key, similar groove. 29 Ways feels almost like double time. 
compared to pop congrats da 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 as opposed to da 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 but because it's exactly double versus half it's easy to work around that so essentially i mean blues in general you tend to hear a lot of medleys because a lot of blues songs do employ similar grooves and similar feels because that that's what really often defines the blues genre so it's just a matter of switching from one to the other and what i you can of course you know you've got this left hand riff you're doing in 29 ways well it's just a standard left hand blues thing there's absolutely no reason you can't do that for the riff of papa come quick and so that is really the way you can make this segue happen and so that would be after the last verse of papa come quick so um, and I'm editing the lyrics just slightly in case we have some kids watching. Well, mama's been crying in the kitchen since morning. She cried right through as a world time. I seen it myself and Papa, she's itching. Let's haul out before the baby gets burned. There's this sort of secondary riff here. riffs you can and particularly because this comes out of a breakdown which is just a godsend when you're looking for a segue is you can just start with this so if you want to do even straight out of the breakdown uh, let's haul out before the baby gets burned you, know, you do it nice and quiet so it's not really getting in the way So it's all about the swing eights, you know, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Or swing sixteenths if you wanted to count the Bonnie Ray tune as halftime. But either way, like I said, the grids will line up. The theoretical grids of where the beats are, they're going to line up. So that's how you can utilize that. And, of course, I always, I, when, when, when it, you can and when it feels right, I always like to go back into the first song. Out of a segue, and then, particularly when you're doing blues, you know, that's a fairly easy thing to do. Is so, you know, you have the last uh, just kind of vamping on the uh, chorus to my lovely baby's door, 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 to my to break it down, you know, you know, bring it real quiet, go back to the secondary riff here, and I mean this is blue so you can improvise if you want. segue for you. The first of its kind, I believe, but certainly not the last. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week's episode, 
and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.